Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian Mustafa and it is always a pleasure having you watch my videos. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to serve you. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to share with you some tips, 10 uh, tips and tricks about Canva that maybe you didn't know. So if you are new to Canva, it's just the description to uh, the link is in the description below. And I'm just going to dip it down there. But if you are new, this is the first time you are seeing Canva, you can just sign up here. Click on this to sign up. Or if you are already having an account, just log in and you are good to go. So once you log in, you can log in through Facebook, Google, and uh, the interface is like this, where you have all the things that you want to work with. And we'll be using some of the features. So I assume that you already know Canva. So let's go straight to some of the tips and tricks that I have for you. Trick number one is, uh, tip number one is, how do you remove background images? So I'm just going to pick a template and uh, we're just going to work anyhow with those templates. But we'll be moving fort in and fort from different templates, using different templates. So let me use YouTube thumbnail template and uh, for us to do for the purpose of, purposes of this video. So I'm just going to give it a color, which is black and uh, the first thing we want to look at is how do you remove thumbnails uh, for backgrounds. So maybe if you have a background or your image, how do you remove it? So let me bring down my image. So if you want to upload an image, just click here and upload through media. I already have an image here. So I'm just going to bring that image out. And uh, so you can see these are all things I've worked with. So I'm just going to bring an image out and uh, remove the background of that image. Uh, let me use the image that I use for this. So this is the image I have. Okay, the background is already out. So let me bring a one with a background so that I work on it. So let me uh, import this image. So you can see that this image has background and the background is different from what we have. So we just remove it, let's remove it. But then know that if you are using this version, you need to be on the pro accounts. If you are using a free version, you may not be able to do this. So the pro accounts, the description is in the link below. You can get a 30, 30 days free pro accounts and the rest you get to pay. But then it's good to go. You can use the free version, but you may not be able to get this. So you edit image and you do background remover. It just gives you background remover within some three, uh, three seconds, the background of the image will be off. So we remove this, it just takes this out and uh, you are good to go. So you take the background, so maybe you have a background image of something and the background there are different things on the background. It just takes care of that background and leave the photo for you so that you get to do different things with that. So the background is out. You can see now I have an image that I can just work with. I can uh, use to do different things. So the background of this image is okay, it's out. You can see how nice the image is. You can see how nice the image is. So the background is okay, it's out, and you are good to go. So you can use this to do different programs. So just uh, put it here and work with this image until you get uh, to do it. So first is to remove the background, which you've done. The second thing is how do you import fonts? So maybe you are working with a font and you want to import fonts into uh, Canva. So these are fonts. I just want to show you a uh, text. So maybe we have a text like this. Canva has its own text. We'll be using this image again. Canva has uh, maybe Ghana must go. Ghana must go. It's black. You need to change it. So let me change this text and show you something. I'm just going to change, going to change the color of this text. So you can see this text. So maybe it's, it's good, but I don't like the font size. So how do you do uh, import your own text? So once you have a Canva like this, and it also goes with the pro account, sorry for that. You can just do brand, uh, you can just import your text. It's simple to do that. So when you go to text, click here, you go to text. So once you see, once you go to text like this, you see the straight, upload a font. So you just upload a font. If you have any font, 
you can just upload it but if you don't have a font on your own you can go to let's say creative creative fabrica and get a free font i get free font the cell font that is linked to creative fabrica is also in the description below you get free fonts so when you click on freebies you get free fonts and look at all these beautiful fonts you get one for free then uh, you just download it it's free and you can use it for commercial purposes so let me see okay i like this font i think i like this or oh, this one no i like this one I like this so you just bring a font like this download it and once you download it it comes to go straight to uh, it's a uh, the document is always in the zip file just go to your downloads and zip it which i'm doing now so i'm just going to unzip it and uh, extract it and uh, okay super space so you come to your canva and once you come back to canva you go to upload you go to upload a font and you go to that uh, document that you unzipped super space and you just do yes anyway and upload so as simple as it is you can start using that uh, font that you just uploaded so you can see super space regular and that's the font we just uploaded so let's see how we can use that one so this has these are my uploaded fonts and we're going to use this one super space regular so this is the font that i just uploaded you can see how nice it is so let me change the color so that you get to appreciate uh, how nice the font is just change the color of this font so that you get to see how beautiful that font is super script regular and that's good to go so this is the process of uploading a font and you can use different fonts don't be limited to their fonts and uh, you can do that so the next thing we want to look up at is maybe you have a website and you need to incorporate your qr code on the documents maybe an image maybe you want to organize an event and you want people to register for that event or you have a website for that event maybe it's a zoom meeting and you need a QR, qr code so that people can just uh, once they use that qr code they can just go straight to your website but you don't know how to do it canva has a way so that you can just incorporate your website turn it into qr code and it is good to go so first you come to the left side of canva and you click more so once you click more here you can see you see so you come here it's already open you click more so once you click more a lot of uh, things will open you see different type of uh, stuff create new create something new on apps or you can also do qr code qr code just type in qr code you are good to go you see that it will come so you click on it qr code it will give you a space to put in your website so let me just use my website which is mustafa in spice www.mustafainspice.com mustafa in spice.com i've not eaten yet so please spare my uh, donation so you just do generate qr code it is going to generate a qr code onto that document and straight you can see this is a qr code so if you have a phone you can just check in use the qr code element and there's a qr code for this uh, this particular uh, website so if you just if you are having a QR code QR scanner at home just scan this and you see the website Mustafa and Spice and pretty sure as simple as this you can create a QR code for anything for any website for any zoom meeting so that people can just if you if you want to even do it on your business card it's simple to do so that people will just you just pass the web uh, the business card and they'll just use their scanner to scan it into to find the information that you have and all your informations will come it may be a document from google docs that you want to do a qr code for for people to just readily go on and find so that's easy how much you can do qr code so now we want to look at how to create background maybe white lines for your image so i would just want to show share with you 
some image that you see and sometimes you see them and you, they have white background images there and uh, you may not understand like this so i just want to show you this you can see this one this image is a white background about it so if you want to create this maybe you want to do a thumbnail for youtube mostly we use that for that so you click on that image and you edit image so once you edit image you go to shadows right and uh, the shadow i like to use is glow right so you want to click on glow pretty much you see glow so you click on it then you change the color to white so you change the color to white so once you change the color to white you can see its effect and you choose blur drag it right and you get to see that and you change the size of it change the size of it and you can see the and you move the transparency just make sure that you, you, you are able to what work with this until you get what you want so the size to I'm just going to work on the size the transparency so you need to just work with it until you get what you want so blur make it make sure that the blur is down so that people can see this so you can see pretty much and you reduce the size I'm just going to reduce the size simple if you're happy let me know just if you're happy just like this video share it comment and say yes I'm happy because this is something that is revolutionary so once you have this you can see it's easy to go good to go and simple to do so you can just use this anytime you send this for your programs for your projects and uh, right so first step is edit image click on it and do edit image go to shadows so once you go to shadows go to glow and uh, change this one to real or uh, white you change the color to white and you can be able to work with that you can be able to work with that so pretty much that is how you do that you do that so as simple as this so let's go to the next tips tip and trick the next tip that we want to do is to create TikTok videos. So many people don't know that you can use Canva to create TikTok videos and do give them good animations and just post them on TikTok straight and uh, download them and post them on TikTok so that you get traction. So with this, you go to Canva home, personal home and uh and it, it applies to all the templates that you want to create and you don't know the size if you know the size good you can just do custom size and start creating and it will give you templates for you to work with but i don't know the template the size of the template so i just do tiktok i just do tiktok videos so once i do tiktok videos it's going to give me templates and what people are working with so you can see as simple as this is so these are sample tiktok videos that uh, I can just put in my uh, incorporate, put in my templates and work at this uh, pro versions. But then, if you are, I can use this because I have the pro version. If you don't have the pro versions, to just look for the ones that are having the free versions like this, and you are good to go. You click on it, you can just bring in your own uh, videos, import your own videos into this, and work with this. The template is there for you. To work with it could be an image too that you want to bring on so it could be that you want to change the text of this so let me let's see how we can change this text Ghana must go I'm just using Ghana must go much and uh, this is how it is so I'm going to work on this and I can increase the text size or I can even incorporate another uh, version of the text so it's I can go to elements, bring in my own, uh, bring in my own board, like this. If this one is not something that you can work with, just get rid of that. Bring in your own board, and do TikTok, or again just put in the text and say TikTok. I'm just going to type TikTok, TikTok tutorial. Maybe many of you 
tutorial so ch change this text color to perhaps uh, want it to be red reduce it so that people can reduce this change it to black to white rather no no I want it to be black but then I want to change the transparency so that it will be a little transparent so come so so that it can be a little transparent and it looks like something that is planned so the transparency is here you go up, up on your right and you change the transparency of this so once you put this one people can still see the water and uh, the, the, the west and you can add different words you can see that it's quite good and you can put sounds you can add maybe sound you can add like uh, different videos to it and you can drag it to change the side uh, the to change the length of it and pretty much I have a TikTok video that you can just keep posting changing the text motivational text or your own videos that you can just work on that so let's go to tutorial number hope you are learning something so tutorial number six is how to import Google Maps so we go back to the one we're working with so we incorporated uh, our QR code then we want to incorporate google map and it's the same way you do that you go to elements if you don't know how to do it you can come here to your left and click on the left side of it so once you click on the left more down here just scroll down you see more you do maybe uh, google maps you want to incorporate google maps so you do google map and you type in the location of it so maybe i can type in new york so you can type in your office location whereby to zoom the office location so that people get to see it or maybe some uh, place that you want people to see your house so you see let's assume that i want to put a uh, times square times square new york i don't know there but i'm just putting it for us for the google map to bring times square for us so you can see times square and uh this is set times square great you can see the map of it you just click on it once and uh, ready times square will be on our google uh, our document so you can do this on the image you can do this on the, maybe any graphic that you want to do if you are doing brochures or you want to do descriptions and it's there you can zoom it more to see because it's small this way i'm working with this you can zoom it more to see how it is but pretty much that's how you get your uh, import google maps into your documents or images hope you are learning hope you are learning something i just want you to learn something to learn something what we're going to do next is the tip number seven is how to resize a document so maybe i do uh, i do templates and i sell them on etchy and once i do them and they are different sizes so maybe you go to Etchy. Once you go to Etchy, you see that we have different maybe printable wall art printable wall art wall art printables prints or wall wall art prints. So you can see these are all wall art prints. And uh, once you pick one of them, the sizes that maybe they are offering for you to print may be different. So if you are designing this you can see this one uh, let's see the sizes here okay you can see that what you will see these are different sizes in, in inches maybe four by six, six by nine twelve by eight. and you cannot afford to be to work on a document like this and you want to download it into the favorable sizes that people will print and you have to restart it all over again no canva gives you the opportunity to just resize it onto the number of pages you want and the sizes you want and you will get to just print them out like that so you go to resize and this is a pro version if you don't have the pro you may not be able to access this feature so you go to the size and this document is 1280 by 720p so what you do is just click on here and i'm going to add a, a thousand 1080 i'm just going to add 1080 by 1080 pixels 1080 by 1080 pixels 
and that's what I, yeah, you can get other in inches or pixels or mm millimeters or centimeters anywhere you want so once you just finish with that maybe let me add uh, something 10 uh, 2000 by 2000 pixels by 1080 rather pixels so once you're done with that inputting this you just do copy and resize so it's going to open different fold, files and folders whereby you just see the resized ones and it gives you what you want like 2000 by 1080 and you're good to go you see this one is small because of the 1080 by 1080 it just gives you the same size that you want to work with but then the rule of thumb is that this is the original document so if you resize this work on them make sure that they are aligned because this may be small and some of the text or video pictures images may be out of line just realign them to the sizes you want and ready you print you print so that's how you what besides your documents or the Canva so you can also now what we want to do is how do we format text and add effects to the text so this is a text we can add different things to it maybe effects to the text and stuff so once you have text click on text always click on it and add effects once you add effects you see that you once I click on the effects you see that it changes it gives you a different feel polo effect this one looks good on white background you can see this so you're just changing the text changing the effects of the text and I'm making sure that you are working with that changing it and uh, changing the text size of it and you can pretty much do a lot of this uh, text so this is a round text and uh, pretty much we are good to go so I just want it to be straight and I want you can also uh, give it a line spacing to this the line spacing you can bring the lines together and stuff so that's how you format text and work on that text and you can change different text formats and also different sizes here and different colors to the text different colors to the text and uh, you are pretty much good to go so that's how you do that now what you want to do is how do you add animations to your documents maybe you want to add animation animate your whole the whole document it's simple you just see animate here and you do animate if it is the text and uh, stuff straight once you animate it and you click play you see that the animated ones will come and you once you download it is an uh, now now going to be what animated mp4 because you've animated that you can animate what your videos uh, your images you can animate whatever is in the document and uh, it looks nice so once you play it just like G, uh, defect or animated version of it and you have a mini video to work with so that is how you work on your videos like in terms of like animating animating them so if you are new to this please just like this video uh, share it please send me a comment if i'm doing well if it's something that you, are, you want me to improve on please let me know and i'll improve on that and i'll improve on that so the next one we want to look at is i don't actually know which one i'm working with okay the next one i want to uh, look at this how do you yeah, that's the tenth one add half those background so you have an image you have a I just want to show you half dot backgrounds what it means uh, let's go back to canva so you have a document you want to add half dot backgrounds so i want to show you how what half dot background is thumbnail so thumbnail so youtube thumbnail wanted to type you okay so you can see that this is a document this is a doc quite document and i don't need all this and this is the half dollar background this is just a background that is added to it to make it this effect 
So once I take it out, you see that there's nothing there. So the question is, how do we create this hub dot background? So let me make this black for you to see it well. So this is black now, and I want to create the hub dot background. So what you do is just type in half dot half dot dot background. Once you type in this in, you see samples of that. So you go to elements rather, and you type in half dot background. You get to see it, and it also it also comes in different sizes and shapes. And uh, we want to use what they were using, and this is pretty much what they were using. So you can see the color is black, so you may not see the effect of it, but you have to change the color of it for you to have a feel of how it is. You can see, so this is how it is, and uh, you can just make sure that you work with it or you make it small, or however you want it. But there are different, different ones that perhaps you can still keep exploring to see. So maybe they are all in the graphic size. And uh, once you go to the graphics, you get to see more and more of the half dot backgrounds. So on the elements. So this is pretty much how you do your half ground back, uh, half dot background. You can keep exploring to get the best one for you. But then these are some one way that you can do the half dot background. The pro version, you can do like a full document. Just do it this way. And once you finish, you change the color. You can change the color of it. You can uh, edit the image and uh, remove the background or the brightness and how it is. So pretty much this is how you change this so thank you for your time thank you i hope you learned something today and i believe that together we can do more i believe in you and i believe in the power of your dreams and uh, just go explore use canva to do different things you can use canva to sell on etchy do like designs like this simple designs like this and just sell them on etchy you can design business cards Use Canva to design business cards. Uh, I just want to show you that. Use Canva to design logos, YouTube thumbnails, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Instagram story presentations, channel ads, YouTube flyers, posters, business cards, and a lot of things. You can see these are some of the designs I've used Canva to do. Uh, these are from my Ashy Shops. Ashy Shop. So you can do more work on it get a pro version if you need need be but you can use the free version and the description the description box there's a link there for you to get a free canva 30 days pro and uh, later you get to pay but the free version i used to use the free version for quite three years now and i just recently started using the pro version because i wanted i just wanted to go professional and it's very cheap, like $12, $12.99, or even $9. How much is it? I don't even know, but I just keep paying. Get, get it. Thank you for your time. My name is Brian Mustafa, and I believe that you've learned something, and together we can do more. I appreciate it.